Okay, so I wanted to do a quick uh, video about the research paper. Hopefully you can answer some questions. If, uh, But as always, feel free to reach out to me during office hours or by email if you have any questions. Um, this is basically an APA style research paper. Uh, up until now, most of you have probably been writing MLA only, which is how you do it through high school and English class and even in college, English and other subjects. But in the social sciences, we use APA style or the American Psychological Sci Association, right? The American Psychiatric Association. Um, so this is uh, a might be new to you. Uh, hopefully, if you had never done one before, you took advantage of the extra credit and did the library classes on research, et cetera. It would clear up a lot of questions if you have them. Unfortunately, I cannot teach you how to write a paper. Um, this is about the only hints I'm gonna be able to uh, provide for you, okay? Um, so hopefully you got started early. Hopefully you thought about it um, at any rate. So. You're, of course, this is human sexuality. You're going to have to have a topic. You can pick whatever topic you like within that realm, which is, you know, quite uh, wide open. <laughs> so uh, feel free. And if you have any questions about your topic, feel free to, again to reach out to me. Um, so I want to show you inside Canvas. I have an example of an APA paper that's really very good. You know, of course, there's a huge manual. Um, about it, but uh, this should be able to get you through. Okay, so I'm going to uh, right now go into Canvas, right? So when you go into Canvas, of course, you know, we're on the home page, and what you would do is go down to modules. And uh, inside the modules, the syllabus, research paper, etc., the module has the APA style paper, right? And here we go. And this is how we do it. And it has the notes explaining everything we do, right? So half an inch from the top. And these rules are really um, extremely strict. Like when you write a thesis or a dissertation, if you keep going past uh, postgraduate school, then you will really be held to a standard here. Okay, so that's why this introduction goes on. I know that some of you are psychology majors, so uh, get ready. Anyway, so it tells you exactly what to do. Like here's the title, the full title, the authors and the school name are centered on the page and typed in uppercase and lowercase. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the blank paper I page, I just couldn't get rid of it. It did hold what is called an abstract, but because our paper is so short, you will not be doing an abstract, right? You're a three to five, five to seven page paper. One page is the uh, title page, another page is the bibliography. So um, you would typically really you're only writing typing three to five pages in the body of the paper. And this will tell you exactly how to do this, right? How to cite sources, which is very important. And you're gonna have to learn how to do because you're gonna need a uh, bibliography. So this is all the body of the paper and there's notations there to tell you what all of this stuff, you can read through all of those. I'll help you out. And then here's in the back is your reference page of which you will have at least three entries, valid entries, not, uh, not the book, not, uh, not popular science, like not, uh, People Magazine, right, but valid journal articles from research that has done, been done on your project, what your hypothesis is, it's been done on your topic, whether it supports your argument or not is irrelevant. Um, oftentimes we can't find things to, you know, to support our ideas, but that doesn't matter. You just need three valid sources on your topic to put in the bibliography and to cite inside your paper. Okay, so here's the example. You can read through that and um, hopefully it will help you out. And then, as I said, you know, I'm available for questions, but I'm not an, you know, I'm not a writing teacher. So, um, 
There's not much I can't teach you how to write a pick. Never done one before. Seriously consider the library courses. Um, they, they are very helpful. Well, so as always, I am available for questions um, as best I can. All right, good luck.